Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. This is world number three, and this is, of course, the Monday episode, so this is just a basic walkthrough of the world. Yoshi, my man, is already gone. Yoshi, how could you leave me, Yoshi? And I didn't know he was coming back. I think he's coming back. It's so I just start doing some of this, just to kind of see where we can get to. And there's Yoshi, my man! Yoshi! Yoshi, come back here! Yoshi! Yoshi! Yoshi, no! Yoshi, no! no. Ah, Yoshi fell down the hole! Now I'm kind of angry, so I'm just going to go through and do this. I kind of want to get that dragon coin, though. Or that Yoshi coin. Whatever it's called. So let's go up here and get that. Then let's fall back down real quick. Then we have to get through here somehow, so let's just keep twirling until we're able to get through and make progress it looks like we actually did have to go up so not a loss at the end of the day not all that terrible and here we see some red outline stairs so obviously that's going to be our secret exit when the time comes um so that'll be for friday's episode there although there is one secret ep exit in this world um i made a mistake and accidentally got there instead of going the right way because I was running low on time, but we'll see that when we get to it. And I do include the original exit as well, so all good news there. Let's get the star. Do, 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 do. And this starts sinking as soon as we get on it. I realize that like way too late. And then that of course causes it to go down faster than usual, but we made it. That's all that matters. We made it. Do, do, do twirling my little cape. I like twirling my cape when I'm bored in this game. It's honestly pretty fun. Let's get some coins. And it's really effective against these guys just consistently twirling the cape. I think we're supposed to go up. Something just tells me that. I, I don't know that for sure, but that seems like the right way to go. I was correct. Good job, Average Joe. And I really want to go this way, but the game's not going to let us because we have an advantage, so we'll have to come back here later. And I'm not sure if I could actually kill these guys. I can. Look at that. So I can kill them as long as I'm using my cape twirl. That's helpful to know. And here, hopefully this isn't a fire plant. It is... God damn. I don't want the fire plant because all the turtles here have the shells that I can't break with the fire. Like, it doesn't make sense to use the fire plant here. And here we have the green button already pressed, so we get out of that little bit of mischief. We could jump on this guy and get a Yoshi coin, but honestly, sometimes the risk is not worth the reward, and that is one of those cases. Let's wait down here for that guy to come. Jump up. And then, I don't know if there was a right or wrong way. Oh yeah, probably that middle section probably would have been a lot better. But we get a Yoshi coin, so hey. That's nice sometimes. Luckily, this one twirls. Otherwise, we'd be stuck here and have to backtrack. Let's just kick this. It sounds like it hit somebody. So there's somebody down here. And there's a football guy. I always love the football guys. So that is level one of world one. Now let's go to level two, which is like the bane of my existence. I hate levels like this. And now that we have the, the secret place unlocked, I will be upgrading between levels. So you can see that there. I don't know why it went black for a second, but I go and I get two fire plants because that's the best way to deal with this level. Um, I usually give these all like one try right out of the gate to see if I need the extra level ups. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, but it's nice to give it an attempt like right out of the gate. And um, then, you know, if I can't beat it there, then I'll go back and I'll, I'll get some level up just in case we need it. And there it makes a jump noise even though we didn't jump. Go up here try to avoid these guys i'm trying to keep as much of like my abilities active as i can I, like i don't want to die too early let's see we go up here try to kill these fish before we even do anything nah uh, you know what there's just a fire plant up there. there there's nothing really good in those boxes here i try to go this way And I lose that because, of course, I do. Good job, Average Joe. And this football guy is going to come down here. I want him to go clean through the boxes. I discovered the right way to do this later, but... See, once he's out of there, he's out of there, and you can't do anything with these. So, knowing it's a Mario game and knowing that there's always at least one way out of each of these worlds, I know that I have to backtrack a little bit. And I think maybe this top section up here 
maybe this has something I can use. And of course, a turtle hits me on the fucking head as I go down to do that. Because why wouldn't it? Right? It's par for the course. Let's let this guy land here. I don't want to die from him. That would be an embarrassing way to lose our power up again, knowing that he's there. And if we could just make this jump. Oh, and we do. Okay. Hit that. And this P coin. I kind of want to carry this over here. Let's see. Yeah, let's pick it up over here. This seems like a safe spot to put it. Let's see if there's a power up inside this too. Because that would help a lot. Let's hit it. Let's just go wild. I don't think it's the way we came. So it has to be this way. Whatever exit we have. Yeah, let's go down this one, I guess. Let's go this way. There's a Yoshi coin. Very nice. And here's a key, so obviously we're going to the secret exit. The keys make you float, too, which is kind of annoying, but once you get the hang of it, you're good. It's just I haven't gotten the hang of it. And there we go. There's the secret exit for this level. Uh, I didn't think that would be in this episode, but it, it greatly helps us, because here is the red switch. And yes, I did have to go back and get a power-up for this one. Because that happens, like, instantly with that guy down there. And I want my Yoshi back, but he's going to continuously hit me until I die. So I think I'm better off to just forget about Yoshi, honestly. Like, I think that's the, the better route. And there we go. Now we can go through and hit the red button, and we should be good to go. Hello. And my dog is looking at me. I know what she wants. I know what she wants. Wait a minute. So there we go. Now we hit the red switch, so all of our red buttons... All of our red stuff should be out there. There it goes. And that should mean that our secret episode 3.5 here is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. I don't think that's a big deal. It does mean that this episode is a little bit longer than it should have been, which kind of stinks, but... Here we go. Let's get this. Oh, yeah, we're going through this level again the normal way. So let's see what that looks like on the normal walkthrough, like the way we're actually supposed to do it. And I just found this out by chance, honestly. Like, I wasn't... I kind of had an idea of what we were supposed to do, but not really. And honestly, I think, like, if you're a first-time Mario player playing through this world, like, this is more confusing than the secret route. Like, the secret route it took a precise jump, but I can do a lot more stuff on land than I can in the water. So I don't really know what it was trying to get me to do there, but it is what it is. Here we go. Let's kill these two fish. There's the cape. Use the cape down here. The cape could be beneficial. Can we kill a fish? Yeah, we can. So we have these fishes over here, and obviously we have to do something with the football player. Like, that's all that I know. And Maybe the cape can hit it. I don't know. I'm trying to get rid of these fish so we don't have to deal with them. And obviously that comes back to bite me, because why wouldn't it? Let's just progress. At this point, I think I've pretty much lost the level in my head. Turns out if we go here and do that, he comes out angrily, and now the blocks are cleared. So that's the right way to do it. You just have to get up there real close. And it looks like we could have went up the other way, too. I just saw the halfway check marker, so there is another way to do this, but... There's only two official exits in levels, even those that have secret exits. There's only one additional exit, so... We'll be sticking with this way. Now I go down here into the ice cavern. God knows why I do this, because this is terrible. Like, it's just horrible to be here. <laughs> use him to kill him nice and easy let's wait for this red guy to go underneath red guy's underneath now we just need to go up into the tube and depart from the level and of course <laughs> of course there's a cheap shot right out the gate and these guys are going to be a problem i need to get around this right away i just need to make it to the end of the level thank god we made it through that those guys will just follow you and hunt you down through across the whole level so it's nice when you could just sort of get away like that I hate the football, baseball players in this game so much. There we go. We have now unlocked our way into the ghost mansion. Of course, I'm coming at it with two wings. Now, there are a lot of ways to get through this. I'm going to cheese it. 
because I played through this one so many times and it is so annoying. I'm gonna completely cheese this. And I think it'll hint at our secret exit. I think our secret exit is up there to the left. If there is a secret exit, I remember one of these doesn't have a secret exit and that this very, mel very well may be the one, but. And now we get hit with this bull crap, these green blobs. This is so annoying. Like, I don't know who designed this, but it's the most annoying thing I've ever seen. So like, you almost have to do what I'm doing right here, like back away and then come to it. But if you don't back away in the right timing, like the blob will respawn. And they, of course, come from behind you as well, now that they're making their rounds, which makes it incredibly fun and fair. So here, there's a P button there, but we want to unseal this first. Otherwise we can't use that door that's hidden right there. This door just brings you back to like the middle section, which you guys didn't get to see, but it was where I flew over because there's so much chaos going on there that I thought it would just be easier to go this route. And there we go, we got a one up, very nice. And now we go through this door and I think that should be it for the castle. Yep, very nice end to the castle. Let's try to cut the ribbon. There we go. It's got 11 stars there. It's a nice amount, it's fair. Now we're able to go this way to the next level, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's continue and save and then go in here. And we're approaching it with Yoshi this time, Yoshi my man. I wanted to see if I could eat him, but of course I can't. I don't think any of these are worthwhile getting, like anything floating right now. I think I'd rather stick with flying type Mario and Yoshi. Let's feed Yoshi's belly, let's feed him. He eats all the bad guys, Yoshi. Yoshi's a hungry little man. Get our Yoshi coin and I just kept walking backwards. I just didn't want to die there. I was worried as to what would happen. But luckily we don't die. We don't take any damage. I'm trying to eat the fire. Eat the fire, Yoshi. The fire. Let's jump over these guys. And this block moves at its own pace. This thing of skulls here, which is always incredibly fun. And there's a block there. I kind of knew that there would have to be something, otherwise we wouldn't be getting out. <clears throat> here, let's go down here. There we go. Get another power up. And these levels, honestly, I found these levels to be like a lot easier than the last world. The last world really gave me some trouble. And I know the secret exits always give me a lot of trouble. So I'm not referring to them. I mean, like in general, world two was a lot harder than world three, I feel like. But that's just my opinion on it. Let's go over here, move that forward. Drop down here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's jump. I can't go down that tube. Can we go in this tube? I cannot. And here we could jump on these and I think this is where our secret exit is gonna be. Like I think it has something to do with this location here try and eat him and just blow the fireballs I think we have to use him to get that mystery box and then do something there I don't know it's probably like a, one of those sprouts that goes up in the sky if there even is a secret ending to this level I forget if there is or not honestly I don't think there is so I think I'm just kidding myself here I don't think there's anything really more we need to do with this one in particular, but this one's not bad, so if this is one we have to return to, I'm not going to be offended. Let's jump. They wouldn't put this block here unless there was something it wanted us to get, and of course it's the Yoshi coin. Let's jump over here. Can Yoshi eat the red guys? Yes. That's good to know. Let's eat him through the tube. Don't even enter danger's way. Yeah, and that middle button there was going to give us a Yoshi, so the one that we passed and didn't click. Oh yeah, so we don't need it. That's not an exit. That's right. So it was going to give us Yoshi anyways. It's nice to have him ahead of time, but 
the game was going to give you Yoshi, so that way you could deal with that section of red guys a little bit easier. Let's go through here, go through here. And it looks like the end of the world is right up through here. The end of this level. So we don't have to worry about this one too much more. Sometimes these ones can get a little out of hand. And we get it. We get 24 star points. Good job, Average Joe. This has actually been like a pretty clean walkthrough. Like nothing janky has really happened yet, which is really nice. Now let's start our last level before the castle. This one took the most time out of all of them. <laughs> By a large Martian. I keep losing Yoshi there, which is my first problem. I will say I, I still don't have this one down packed. Like, I got lucky here. Is how I got through it. Get that again. Fly up. There's not enough room to really fly anywhere, so you can't really cheat the level either. Of course, I get hosed there. I have to get on the very end of this thing, like to the left. There we go. And I want to stop here because I do want this power up. I think I'm going to need it. There's just too much going on. I lose it immediately. Perfect. It gets me so wet. <laughs> Jump down here. Creaming in my jeans over here. All right, jump on this one. And then this crap happens. How is this fair? It's not, and I lose my other power up, which is great. It is incredibly unfair to have that many bullet bills on screen at once. Like I get it, you can memorize that pattern and do well here, but down here, like I need this power up. I desperately need it, because there's like no way I'm not gonna take damage between now and the end of the episode with this continuously happening. And I don't want to run because I don't know like where they trigger off of. Yep, see, thank God I got that power up. Probably would have tried jumping there and would have died. Ugh. Okay. Okay, we're alive. Should I get the Yoshi coin? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Let's just get through here. I'm afraid it, that chaos is going to ensue if I stay here any longer. There we are. And now we're going to Lemmy's castle. So obviously I can't bring Yoshi in, but getting the level ups is nice. And there's a bunch of wizards throughout this one. I really hate the wizards. It's nice because they give you openings like that. Like, they help you out in ways. But they also are just like... There's really, like, no way to effectively avoid their attacks consistently. It's very aggravating. Um, I appreciate what they're trying to do. But it, it could be annoying at times here. We should have just hit him. But I'm just trying to get through it. I don't want any of this... I think the P-Wing would have helped us here because we could have gotten that. I like the P-Button. I don't know where that leads, though. Like, honestly, no idea. I don't think it's really all that beneficial because we're able to get through everything just fine going this way. I don't think there's secret endings to these levels, so it's not that either, which is usually my go-to thought. And then I try and duck here, but yeah, obviously his magic goes through walls. And a loud-ass car. It wouldn't be an average Joe episode without a loud-ass car going by. And now we have a little bit of timing platforming stuff. We've seen this in past castles. The past castle had this a pretty good deal. I think I can make that jump, but is it really worth it? I vote no. And here I think I was getting a phone call or something too. Like I'm trying to multitask and stressing out that I'm going to die. Because I'm not very good at this game, so the likelihood of me dying is actually pretty decent. Let's get through that. Oh, I hate the fucking dry bones. The dry bones are ridiculous in nature. I don't know why, like, they don't continue their route when they come back to life. Like, how do they just track you? It's not bad when there's just one here, but you'll see here in a minute. 
they start to up it to the point that there's two consistently coming and I waited there because I knew that fireball was coming let's get this mushroom and hide down here I wasn't sure if any of those were going to come through sometimes they do sometimes they don't but not in this castle they don't but we need to be quick here we could legitimately die and I don't want to die I don't want to die mama okay let's drop down let's drop down let's drop down and jump up I think here's where the start of two dry bones comes into play. I may be wrong though. Nope, yep, there's a lot of dry bones moving back and forth here. This one, at least we got lucky and there's only one inside this little space. But once you get into a little space where there's more than one, like chaos just ensues. Yeah, you're better off to just run through it like that and hope that that guy doesn't make it. So it becomes not fair very quickly. It is not fun. I think luckily this is the last of the dry bones. Yep. And there's a green button here. Thank God we got the green switch and it's a feather. Oh, thank God we got that. That is a lifesaver. So let's go in here. So we have to jump on this guy three times while dodging this fire thing. Luckily, the first two, he comes up, like, really close to us. I think it's going to be really easy. And this third time, I go over here. Miss. Second time, miss. I get hit by the fire thing, so I'm just praying that this is over soon. And then he spawns right by us, so we're good. We have beaten Super Mario World World 3. With that being said, if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. We will be posting videos just like this every monday and friday and pokemon related videos every tuesday and thursday until we beat pokemon scarlet and until this game is over in which case we'll be moving to new series that are yet to be decided folks but i do have some ideas in the works and maybe i'll share that on friday's episode so there's something to look forward to if you plan to tune in to the extras that are coming out on friday here for all the secret exits you'll get to see what is in the works but alrighty, take it easy everybody and we'll see y'all here on the next one.